As you all know, this is uh, Joey's mother. And uh, before anybody else, and being a mother, I think we give her a chance to say something because of the relationship that mothers have with their sons. So, can the mum, if you can, just a short word. I believe my son is innocent. I had a funny case of your daughter because I had her daughter. Kuna kitu ni naamini kuna a god of a second chance na atamtoa na ndio unaona niko na nguvu sababu Mungu mwenye ninaamini ndiye atamtoa he is like joseph joseph alidhurumiwa hivi na Mungu baadaye alimtoa na hata ninaamini sasa atamtoa wakati wa Mungu ukifika ni hayo tu um we won't say much of course, the sentence has been passed. We were expecting something close. We are not shocked. And let me whet your appetite. I think all of you remember those words. Those are not my words. Those are the words of the Honorable Lady Justice Zioki, Zioka, when she was passing the sentence on Joey. We all remember those words. Let me whet your appetite. We are firm in our belief that during this whole process, the Honorable Lady Justice, with respect, was playing to the gallery and aiming at placating the courts of the public. And this is why we, we, we are adamant in our belief that that judgment delivered in court completely and substantially different from the written judgment because it was made to, uh, to placate the public. Joey is innocent and at the Court of Appeal we will be vindicated. The notice of appeal is ready. We just waiting for a little time to maybe further discuss before we proceed. But one thing is clear. The Honorable Justice built a mountain out of the clothes the Joey wore, especially those brown khaki shorts. She had to build a mountain on those shorts. Why? Because those are the only things that she had that would link Joey to the death of Monica Kimani. Purportedly because a drop of blood was found with Monica's DNA on those shorts. That was the only link. Apart from all the rubbish circumstantial evidence, that was the only link that this court had to lay its case on. But then, were those the same shorts the jury wore? The defense was adamant that those shorts which were exhibited in court were not the same shorts that Joey wore. The prosecution's own witness said that the shorts that Joey had on had side pockets and were brown khaki. The shorts that were brought into court purportedly with DNA did not have side pockets. These were different shorts. On three occasions, when Justice uh, Wakiaga was handling the matter, he asked the prosecution to bring evidence of the pictures of the shots that they took while they picked those shots from Jackie Mariba's house. The pictures that were taken with Joey holding onto the shots, clearly showing the side pockets. Three times, the prosecution refused to bring those shots, th those pictures into evidence. Three times. Why? During his evidence, the DNA expert claimed that he took pictures of those shots through the whole process. But when asked to bring the pictures of those shots to court again, refused. Why? It is rather obvious. Our courts have always held that where the prosecution refuses to bring evidence before court in their own possession, which might prove to be 
exculpatory evidence. There can only be one reason why they have refused to bring that evidence. Because it points to the innocence of the accused. Joy Joseph Irungu is innocent and we shall prove it. Thank you. Thank you.